So the first thing you need to do, of course, is to download the app. It's available on iOS and on Android, and then all you have to do is turn on your camera for the first time. You'll get the beep, just like so. Then when you go onto the app, bottom of the app, you'll see the camera icon with the little Wi-Fi symbol. You press that, and your camera should pop up. If you've had previous cameras from Insta360, this might be on there. You just have to select a different camera, and then it'll ask you if you want to join the Wi-Fi network. Press join, and then you're connected to your camera via your mobile device. From here, we can go through the app. You've got the explore feature where you can go through and see what everybody else has been doing um, with their cameras and all the different things. Then we've got album, next one along. I've recorded a bunch of footage here, so we're gonna go and look at that in just a second. In the middle, we can press the camera icon again, and that is where you can control the camera from your mobile device. You can actually press record, change the settings, all from in the, within the app here. So that's a good feature on this app. It's really, really intuitive. I must say, this software is streets and streets ahead of anybody else on the market. The AI and the app capability of all the cameras from Insta360, that's where they're leading the market at the moment. And if you're getting one of these cameras, you know you're getting the best software. And AI tracking is another thing that's built into this. It's so good and we'll touch on that as well. Next one along is stories and it gives you step-by-step -step tutorials on how to get brilliant content. They're adding to this all the time and there's loads of different effects you can do with this camera. Uh, it's just endless the possibilities of creativity and like I said it's really simple shows you exactly how to do it within the app and then you can record footage put it into the app and just create different things you want with your stories so that's brilliant then we've got settings and of course you can go in there like do things like update the firmware and things like so let me just show you quickly my favorite feature inside the app which is the snap wizard editing feature which uses the phone's gyroscope to move around so when you're actually watching back your footage you can press record and move your phone around to where you want to look and then it records that as if you're there in the moment and exports it and it actually takes into account the movements of your phone and that is what you're looking at that is your final edited footage it's so so easy so to do this you just press on one of your saved video files we'll go to this one right here up the top we press pause at the top you'll see snap or edit you can manually edit by adding keyframes it's really easy as well but the snap feature is brilliant so it will take say tap and press to hold to record your video and then as you can see when I'm moving my phone left and right it's looking around the actual video the 360 video you've recorded so I'm gonna press record move your phone to reframe the footage left and right like this we're checking out the guys on the jet ski over there I want to look behind me we'll just turn all the way around and that is what's behind me and then we'll turn back and have a look at the jet ski as I walk towards them and then we press stop and then we can just simply export that to the phone album just like that straight away and then when you go into your phone album it will be saved on there as new footage and then the movements that you've done with your phone is actually keyframing the footage for you. It's so, so easy, so simple. Use the Snap Wizard if you're new to editing 360 footage.